Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Don't take the art of conversation for granted. According to a new study, it's one of the skills lost on some Gen Z workers. The pandemic robbed them, uh, that's what they claim, of time to learn about proper workplace etiquette. As a result, some companies are taking it upon themselves to catch them up to speed by offering, get this, classes on appropriate behavior on the job. Let's talk about it. Joining me now, Parent, Lewis Hunter, and along with the people behind the Monica School of Etiquette, Monica Lewis, who was the Monica Lewis School of Etiquette. Mm -hmm. Like, you messing with our money. <laughs> <laughs> Monica Lewis and Darian Lewis. <laughs> Glad to have you all. First of all, Lewis, as a parent, you, you know, you raise your son and mm -hmm. your daughter as well. But should they know going into the workplace? how to handle themselves, how to have a conversation. We even heard about people don't know how to do elevator talk or some of the jargon now in the workplace, and they find it difficult to learn. There's a bunch of weird kids out there. <laughs> all right? and, I mean, they're, they're flat out weird, and I attribute it to, to parenting. I attribute it to technology, mm -hmm. primarily. You know, these kids now, they get jobs, they expect a beanbag and free lunch. You know, uh, in snacks. You know, <laughs> and then and then they wonder why things within eight months why they haven't been promoted. You know, and that that has a lot to do with entitlement. You know, as far as general etiquette, conversation, just being personable, that's something that a parent teaches. I mm -hmm. learned my etiquette from my parents. What if, mm -hmm. Lewis, this is all you know mm -hmm. when you're around people? You're looking at your phone. Absolutely, right. and that's all they do. You don't even have to. I was telling the, someone the other day that you know, a, as young men, we don't even have to approach. Young men don't have to approach women anymore. No. Mm -hmm. right. You don't have to work up the nerve to right. go up to a girl and ask her what her name is. Mm -hmm. You look at a picture, you look at all of her pictures, and then you swipe right. Right. You know, that, that creates a weirdo, all right? And, and, <laughs> and, and at some point that has to be dealt with. And you can, and, and I, I respect weirdo, what they're weirdo, saying. When you say weirdo, what does that mean, though? Yeah, what's, what's, what's That's that mean? someone who is socially awkward. Um, they never, in order to develop uh, 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 in order to be able to, to have the social etiquette at, mm -hmm. at a workplace, mm -hmm. you have to have formed some close bonds. True. These kids don't have friends now. Mm -hmm. They have people that they play Xbox with or computer games mm -hmm. with in Australia, mm -hmm. but they don't have any close <laughs> bonds. They have never made any close bonds. So you put all of these children together in one room. They don't understand right. each other. They're used to, be, they're used to the anonymity of that this phone provides. And on top of that, you're talking about at a, at a time in their life when they have a lot of anxiety, mm -hmm. and what you've done is you've dumped a phone on them that, that, that increases dopamine, the same dopamine as marijuana, which you're about to make legal. You know, you've got alcohol, you've got alcoholics. When they get stressed out, what do they do? They drink. All right, let's bring in the Lewis yourself. Yes. Now that we have this problem, mm -hmm. it's a reality, mm -hmm. what advice would you give these young people and their parents to survive? Well, we actually have seen an influx of business um, with universities and also when, when these universities, new graduates, they are coming into the office asking for help right. because they really just don't know. And my thing is, and how we approach it, we're going to take you all the way from beginning to end mm -hmm. because their parents don't know. Some of these are first generation um, graduates are even in the country. And so what we would advise that to be transparent, do self-evaluation because what it is becoming insecurities and that keeps you from getting promoted. Right. And it's gotten to also to the point that companies bring us in to do coaching when this employee is about to get fired right. because of social skills, because of social media, because of these things. So if you're not getting it at home, definitely seek out for help. And that, you don't have to look no further. And, and Darren, are you ever surprised that so many young people are so behind with their social skills. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you know, so like Lewis was saying, there's a, there's a lot of truth in what he was saying. Because mm -hmm. we don't have the opportunity to actually socialize, we don't build social skills. It's a yeah. muscle, you have to exercise it. So when they grow up and graduate, we find that they're, they're excellent in their uh, ability to perform the task, their competence. So they meet all the criteria. They are hired to do a particular job. That's competence base. But it's your character that allows mm -hmm. you to establish and maintain your career, which is where they're lacking. So we, we constantly work with them to help them maintain eye contact, how to introduce themselves, how to do some of the things that we consider to be basic skills that we may have learned at home. They may not have gotten that opportunity to do so. All right. Thank you guys for joining yes. us. Go to the Monica Lewis School of Etiquette.
Connecticut. There you go. If your ass don't know what to do. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's, got, he's our number one son. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Lewis, number two. <laughs> Good night, y'all.